Hey guys, Robbie here, RV Sales of Oregon. Uh, today I get to show you this pretty sweet 2006 Country Coach Inspire. It's a 40 footer. Um, anyone that's had a Country Coach will probably tell you these are some of the best driving rigs that are out there. And I'll tell you firsthand from driving this one, it, it is. It drives like an absolute dream. Plenty of power there. It's got the C9 Caterpillar engine. It's an 8.8 .8 liter uh, straight six. Um, bulletproof, absolutely bulletproof. This has got about 80,000 miles on it or so. Um, just getting warmed up. They're just getting going. Six-speed transmission, uh, Allison transmission, uh, ten-bag system, uh, two-stage exhaust brake. It, it makes driving it fun. You know, you have a good time driving something like this. Um, previous owner did make a few updates for drivability. Did do uh, side-mounted cameras in here. Tastefully put them in. They don't look bad. They look almost factory there. So you'll flip on your blinker, see down the full side of the coach on either side, and of course you have a backup camera on here as well. Um, before we head in, let me just show you a few things on the storage base here. Um, of course, diesel pusher, country coach. You're going to get a ton of basement storage. With that basement storage, you want accessibility. Now, no one wants to climb in there and load the middle. So they have this, comes out about 75% of the way, and will come out on the other side as well. So you can load things in the middle to reach that far end, go over to the other side, load it up there. Um, the only issue with these is do you have enough stuff? Might have to throw a few towels in there just to make sure your stuff doesn't move around. But true pass through storage, nice and tall in there. The so toting storage there. Oops, ouch, it's my funny bone. Ugh. And then you have a second one here. The same setup, a little bit more narrow, but just doubling your storage space. Um, that one does come out all the way as well. Um, and he does have an extra large power cord uh, for extension if you are uh, a little bit further away from shore power. Um, let's head on in, take a look at the inside of this thing, because Country Coach is one of the most plush, one of the most comfortable rigs that I know of. Um, as you walk in, I know one of the first things I notice is true tile flooring. It's right up here in the, uh, the chassis area, or excuse me, the cabin area, and then moving back into the house, you have just this living room space. Um, we did just get this in yesterday. Carpet is dirty, nothing more than that. Carpeting will be cleaned, um, but it just goes to show you... Um, it's kind of nice when you get to see rigs the day they come in. You get to see their true, their true how they were capped. So, floor's a little dirty. That has a lot to do with the fires and tracking in ash, things like that. We have a shampoo guy. They'll clean right up. So, I'm not too worried about that. Um, let me take a seat here in the driver's seat. This is one of the most important parts of this coach is just its drivability. Um, so, everything easily accessible. Huge, huge view. You see everything in here, no problem. Um, again, the suspension, the power, the transmission, everything it's got going for it makes this thing a dream to drive. And um, don't take my word for it. Come and drive it for yourself and see. Um, they did update it. This is a brand new Garmin. Uh, so you're going to have always on navigation. And then this is your monitor for uh, backup cameras, um, anything engine system, uh, your side mounted cameras, just about everything. And then the original actual um, CD player and stereo. So. Nice setup there, easy access transmission. Um, your pedals do adjust, they come in, come out, so you can sit at whatever point you want. Telescoping and tilt on the wheel. Um, you do have a true leveling system as well as air dump, so you have multiple ways to stabilize the coach and level the coach. Um, but nice, everything he's done, I'm very happy with. He has a battery reader down here, which is very important if you're an RVer or plan to be one knowing what your voltage is. Um, he threw that on, just telling you the temperature inside and outside again. Not a reason to buy a coach, but the guy that had it before um, thought of everything. You know, everything you want when you're on the road, this thing's got going for it. So anyway, enough here. Um, I should say the these do swivel, of course, being a quality class A that it is, uh, doubling your, you know, your sitting space. You can sit here, face this way, and, and enjoy everybody that you're hosting. There's a step cover that comes out right there, so the passenger isn't jumping into the stairwell and breaking an ankle. Um, let's see, right up here, a couple of built-ins. One guard is going to be for the, um, the antenna for the TV, a couple of switcher boxes. It is set up for satellite. Um, right now, it's wired for direct TV. If you have direct TV, simple as uh, making this receiver set up to your account. If it's dish, just get a new receiver, pop it in there, you're ready to go. Uh, and a DVD player that is Blu-ray, and uh, I'll play all the music and things that you want in there. Um, one thing I always like to point out on Country Coach is the amount of solid wood they use. Um, the more you see newer coaches, it seems they're using cheaper and cheaper material, and it just will not last the way that the solid stuff will. Um, 
and it's it's something I love about these coaches that are you know in the 10 year old and 15 year old range they, they were built with a little bit more quality material um, solid surface counters Corian type counters um, this is not a veneered counter that is that is true um, one thing they did do here and it can be a plus for you is um, they had a originally this came with a couch here um, for whatever reason they didn't really tend to use it so these are folding chairs these are typically put away in the back and only used when this is leafed out so uh, right now they have them there nice thing being coming back to it whatever you might want here you just let us know and more often than not we can do exactly what you want whether it be a couch futon uh, a desk um, a bar you name it um, the, the world is your oyster to do what you'd like there you have nice cathedral windows almost down to the floor there so you get good lighting in um, and just light nice light colors in here without being too blonde or too much it's just it's good lighting it feels natural um, it is kind of a gloomy day out right now and still with just a few lights on it's nice naturally lit here um, catch your coach I've always loved their styling they always put in things like this which I would always consider to be a bar use it how you'd like but I think it's tastefully done um, whether you're using cooking oils um, bottles of fun stuff or or just whatever you want to do I think it puts a certain amount of class into the rig something I really like um, here we do have a microwave convection oven and a three burner stove here again a little dirty not too bad but doubled in stainless steel sinks and a uh, big 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 four-door fridge this is the uh, this is actually a brand new one previous owner had um, some sort of issue with it um, and they tried to get him to go residential and he was a smart guy he kept the original I mean it's a new one but the same type that was in there so you still have the two-in-one this will run on propane this will run on shore power or generator of course so nothing to worry about there keeping things cold I love the propane option for going down the road they barely sip on propane and you don't have to worry about eating away at your batteries um, and move on back again I just I can never point it out enough the quality of solid wood on these things um, I think this is actually just an access panel not storage but let's move back into the restroom here um, nice big open restroom true tile through it this is the only way they should do a bathroom I can't believe they still put carpet in some bathrooms um, but here we have tile keep you easier to keep clean will not absorb water and um, and expand on you so great way to go here good size vanity you got plenty of counter space for toiletries um, let me do this these good size showers always like to hop in I'm about 6'3 I'm not a short guy and I mean I can go elbows out I can put hands in the air that's a good size shower you did get the high pressure um, shower head not a reason to buy a coach but a really nice feature once you're in there taking a shower and the uh, posing mirror so you can tell yourself how good you look when you get out um, good size commode you do have a pocket door here um, then of course you have pocket doors on either side so you can leave this open when you're using it it's you know whatever you choose to do biggest thing for me is it's a porcelain potty I hate the plastic ones when you're in a quality rig you don't want to sit on plastic and I'll just sit down on it to show you the amount of knee space because that's the biggest thing you don't want to be in the restroom with the door having to be open just so you can fit so good size there and then nice open bedroom back here for just having a single slide back here makes it better um, the single slide when you have double slides it makes it really hard to access anything in the back when you're all closed up single slide makes it a little bit easier and it's still plenty of space back here um, here we have a bunch of storage in here it opens up um, oh pardon me so you have some storage in there for the TV this is actually your washer dryer excuse me so you have the combo washer dryer in here and then all your storage space here for socks underwear things like that and then what should be I would imagine plenty of closet space um, I shouldn't assume anything but that's more clothes than I have and it goes uh, on either side here very well done good sliders something country coach does you don't get these opening up sliding on you know, going down the road uh, but good I mean good walk around bed I mean that, that's something that a lot of people call they have a walk around bed but you got to back up against the wall to get there and even with being on the step up it's probably about eight nine inches up I'm still you know not even at the ceiling so for me that's great um, but really that's that's huge when you're trying to get out of bed to use the restroom you want to be able to get out without waking up your partner or whomever you might be sharing the bed with um, 
but yeah, nice features. They installed 12 volt USB chargers on either side of the bed, uh, just to make things easier. Easy plugs, whether you're running a CPAP machine or just need something plugged in there. Um, just tastefully done. Country Coach is never anything short of impressive. Um, shoot, ran through that pretty quick. There is a ton of features on here, guys, that I'm sure I've missed and I apologize, but it's hard to fit all these in into a five minute video. So. If there is anything I've missed and you want to know more about it, please uh, just don't hesitate to ask. I'm happily sure anything about this coach. There's not a dang thing to hide on here. Um, just tastefully done. I mean, really, really well done. And um, you'll be very impressed coming and driving it, especially. I think if you drive it, you'll fall in love with it. So be careful. If you're going to drive it, you probably are going to want to buy it. Um, anyway, uh, my name is Robbie. The RV Sales of Oregon. Again, 2007 Country Coach Intrigue 360. Um, call with any questions you might have and thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video.